Hi there. So this is jet lagged and loving it, but this is a special edition. The reason for this special edition is because there is not going to be a regular edition of the series up this week. And I'm sorry about that. But the reason for that is I couldn't quite get the edit finished before I had to come here. And I'm in Italy right now. So I thought I'd do this little episode whilst I'm filming a future episode of Jet Lagged and Loving It. Um, just to, to check in so you know that I haven't given up, I haven't forgotten the travel vlog series. So if you don't know where I am exactly, I'm currently in Florence, which is in Italy. I flew into Pisa yesterday and I've already seen the Leaning Tower. I hope you can hear me over this fountain. Just check out this fountain because the uh, is spraying, there's like little guys spraying water surrounding this big guy. I'm not actually sure who he is. One of the things when I do the series is once I'm editing things, I can look things up and do a little bit of research, but I like to just scoot around places whilst I'm actually there. Rachel usually knows all of the info, but uh, Rachel isn't with me on this particular uh, trip. This is my first solo trip since Copenhagen or France. France should count. Uh, Rachel's done a lot of solo trips, which I'm sure we'll see some of her adventures in other upcoming episodes. And you'll see a lot more of my time here in Italy. And look, there is the statue of David. I'm trying to line it up so I'm touching his ding dong. Um, but that's just David touching David and there's nothing wrong with that. Probably gonna regret saying that later. But anyway, so here's the statue of David in its original location. But here's a little bit of trivia for you. That is a replica, it's not the original statue of David. It is just a replica which they've put to be outside in the original location of the statue of David. But the actual statue of David is in the museum, the Galleria uh, Academia or something like this it's called. And I would have done this little mini episode live from there, except it's closed on Mondays. And today is a Monday and I'll upload this uh, probably today, tomorrow. So you'll see it this week anyway. But today is a Monday and the uh, gallery is closed on a Monday. I very much am winging this trip. So that was an error of judgment. I probably won't be back here tomorrow. So I will just have to make do with the replica. But it's cool that they put it in the original location. So, um, as you'll see in the future episode, I have been to the Leaning Tower in Pisa, which is where I'm staying. I um, was going to be staying at a hostel, but it was really grim. If you've never stayed at a hostel before, it might be for you, but I wouldn't recommend it just because um, pillows weren't clean, there was hairs on things, and yeah, well, it wasn't nice. I didn't feel comfortable and there was just a couple of people in the vicinity that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable as well. So I ended up getting a last minute hotel and not the hostel in the end. But maybe, maybe another time I'll be stupid enough to attempt it again. Although saying that out loud, I know for a fact I definitely won't attempt that again. Over there, we see, I'll take you over to it, come follow me. Um, I'm going to show you a statue of uh, the Medusa being killed. Who killed Medusa? Someone put that in some comments somewhere. Because I cannot think who killed Medusa. Cut off her head whilst using his shield. It's a old story which I used to know, but I don't know it anymore. So just take a look. So there is the Medusa head over there. And there's a body which he's standing over. He's got a sword in his hand because he's just cut off her head. I cannot see the shield part of the story because he used it to reflect. Because if he looked at her, he'd, he'd have turned to stone. Um, yeah, so anyway, what else can I say? Uh, tips. Okay, so if you're going to go to Pisa, be warned, Pisa doesn't have a lot there. It has the Leaning Tower and it has, I think, about three museums. I haven't checked them all out yet. Um, it's got some like nice buildings and it goes along the River Arno and the River Arno actually comes through Florence as well. So I might go and see that here very soon. Although it's starting to get dark and it is raining today. It was beautiful weather yesterday, but today it is raining. And yeah, so it's, Pisa is definitely nicer as a day trip. 
But the good thing about Pisa, if you want to be somewhere a bit quieter and possibly a bit cheaper, it's a good base camp so that then you can easily come out within an hour and get to Florence. And I might be making another trip as well on this away from Pisa, just because I've got a couple more days and it'd be nice to explore. And also I know that Pisa probably isn't going to have enough to fill my time. So I am going to go get some pizza now. I had some pizza last night and it's great to have some actual Italian pizza. And it was very, very nice. I've had two gelatos, which are the ice creams, which I'd highly recommend as well. And I'm just going to continue to explore the city. So hello, goodbye, farewell. And this is David Stansky, and I am still jet lagged and loving it. Bosh.